On Thursday, Netflix dropped the first three episodes of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex docu-series which gave viewers an insight into how they actually met. The program has been met with criticism and has become widely discussed on a number of BBC news programs. However, many viewers have become fed up with the excessive coverage and have complained to the broadcaster. The BBC has since responded to the complaints, releasing a statement on its website. The complaints read, We received complaints from people who feel our coverage of the Netflix series Harry and Meghan has been excessive and that we have been promoting Netflix. A spokesperson has defended the broadcaster's coverage, explaining its broadcasting has been impartial. The statement began, the Netflix series Harry and Meghan has been widely anticipated, with speculation as to what the Duke and Duchess of Sussex may say about their experiences within the royal family, what this may mean for family relations and how this could affect perceptions of the royal family. Prior to the series being released, the trailers issued by Netflix were an indication of the issues which would be discussed. In this context, we broadcast clips of these trailers, which were clearly labeled, as part of our analysis. Our reporting has also reflected allegations that footage and photos used within the trailers were misleading. While this may not be a story of interest to everyone, we believe our coverage has been proportionate and duly impartial, reflecting public interest, the statement concluded. On Saturday's BBC Breakfast, Naga Manchetti and Charlie State discussed the Royals' Netflix series. They also spoke with Royal correspondent Sarah Campbell, who said she had watched all three installments. Charlie said to Sarah, on one hand this is an entertainment show made by Netflix and they'll want lots of people to watch it. But people like you, journalists, will be looking to see if there are things of significance in there that we just did not know before. People like journalists will be poring over every single frame, Sarah agreed before later adding. For members of the public Harry and Meghan have always been a divisive couple. During BBC Breakfast's News Watch, they also discussed the complaints the BBC has received. Taking to social media to share their thoughts on the amount of coverage, Ingrid Harris fumed, at News Watch BC for the BBC to say the coverage of Harry and Meghan's Netflix drama was for the public interest is disingenuous. It used the name Netflix as the company showing this drama. That is advertising. Sick, what on earth is going on at the BBC? Do we really need a blow-by-blow -blow account of each episode of the Harry and Meghan series? Are we not capable of viewing it for ourselves? What an absolute waste of my license fee! User at Devious Everest raged. While at an error of comedy added, why are the BBC forcing this ridiculous coverage of Meghan and Harry? I don't need to know about penguin onesies or two dates for goodness sake. David Weller pointed out, think the BBC is giving too much coverage to Harry and Meghan's Netflix series. Got nothing against them but enough is enough. Sick. Clara Forbes tweeted, the BBC's coverage of Harry and Meghan is deeply concerning. Harry and Meghan were effectively run out of town by hate campaigns. The BBC is running one of their own. I swear the BBC is so focused on Harry and Meghan, no idea where their priorities lies mad, Anna said. Sick. 